this video is in support of day two for the five day SEO challenge. And in this day, we're talking about keywords and keyword phrases and long tail keywords. And I'm in going to do a short video here just to introduce the free search engine possibilities that you can, not search engine, but um, search sites that you can use to explore and find your keywords once you've brainstormed a list with the possible possibly will work for your post or your page that you're updating. There goes my editor. <laughs> my cat gets up and down, up and down. Okay, so I am here on Google. I'm doing a search for relationship marketing, which is the topic that I am redoing the um, post on. My post is all about um, why you shouldn't use or what perhaps are the disadvantages for using relationship marketing. So I started out with a broad term. Now the broader it is, the harder it's going to be to get onto page one or get into to rank for just because so many other people, the competition is really tough. So, and you can see here about, I don't know how, that's an awfully big number of people are searching for relationship marketing. And the problem with this is not necessarily related to what I want to talk about, which is key and important. I want to refine this phrase into a longer tail keyword, a long tail keyword, and I'll have better chance of ranking even higher for that one. So some of these things are, well, they might fit me, but let's, let's do the disadvantages. And see how that changes things. Okay, so I've got the number down considerably, so I have a better chance the competition isn't, isn't as high. In search and query, okay, so they, this, by doing it on Google, I'm also ranking, this is my website, I know that, but it shows that I've got this many clicks on a site. So I want to go a little further here and see pros and cons of relationship marketing. That one might be a, a keyword to look for, disadvantages. So this gives me ideas of how I might change my title of my website around and the keyword phrase that I use within that post. Advantage and disadvantage. I have one post that talks about the advantages and I have one post that talks about the disadvantages. Funny thing is, it's the disadvantages that's getting the most links. So here's Another thing, nice thing I like about Chrome and Google is it provides a whole bunch of um, wonderful things on the side. There's a Chrome extension that you can download that's free that gives you more ideas. So the SEO difficulty, 54 out of 100, off-page difficulty, on-page difficulty. So we'll understand more of these numbers as we start comparing them with other um, free research sites. Here's the latest videos from Keywords Everywhere. So Keywords ev Everywhere is the Chrome extension. Disadvantages, trend for marketing, which is very helpful. It, in 2003, it was very high. There was a lot of that. And now it's just kind of tamed down. So this gives you the relationship of, is this a popular topic or not? Related keywords is one I want to look at because look at these, these are keyword phrases and some of them would be very meaningful for me to use. So this is probably one of my first go-to researches and then I take it from there. So here's some long tail advantages and disadvantages of customer relationship marketing. That gets it even further, defines it as customer relationship. Three disadvantages, you'll find often numbers help you in your title and we're not talking about titles necessarily but three disadvantages and if you can do those in bullet points throughout your post that helps. Challenges of relationship marketing. What are the disadvantages of marketing in general? So this is very helpful. I would make notes from these. I'd start like an Excel document or a document in uh, Google Docs that lists some of these that I can try out and use. So I want to talk about the others. We talked about Ubersuggest. Ubersuggest is from Neil Patel and he's got a wonderful site many different tools, paid and unpaid and free. So Uber suggests you can use the free version. So you can enter a domain or a keyword. 
So let's try out disadvantages. and see what that brings up. So this is the free version. You can also check your domain, see if your domain homepage is optimized as it should be. Takes it a minute to bring up the results here. And then it starts spinning it. Um, you can log in, you can create a free account. This is great. I don't have one right now. It's a free day trial to unlock all the data. So it's going to bring up search volume, search difficulty, paid difficulty, and cost per click. So right now nobody's paying for that particular, so the competition is down. And the higher the price is, the more competition you have. The search volume isn't that great, so this I may need to really tweak this. So this is Uber Suggest, the free one. Let's look at Moz. Moz, I'm not going to dive in, start my three, free 30-day trial. I would like to time that so that I have that. I don't wish to pay for it right now. I have a paid one, but Moz is another option to go in, <coughs> and it will provide similar data. You want looking for search volume, and you want to look for competition, and the numbers and hit a nice balance in between. And the longer your keyword, uh, <laughs> key, long, t long tail keyword phrase is, the better you're going to get at getting found and ranking. Here's another one, SEMrush. SEMrush has another one that you can try for free. Keyword opportunities, it's also been great. I've not used this one recently. I used it a while back, but I have not kept a free account. SEMrush also does it. Propel your rankings to the stars. Try it free, and it's used. So this is another option that you can tr try. The one that I'm going to list on our resource page is Keyword Atlas, which is a piece of software that you download, and I will also run a separate video on that on a training for that because it is one that I highly, highly recommend. The value of having your own keyword search tool that you don't have to pay for continually time after time is invaluable. It's one that you can just pull up and use for any of your writing, any of your blog posts at any time. So. That's it for this introduction to keyword, long tail keyword research and finding that phrase that's going to be perfect for your post, your website, your product. Let's get you doing correct, um, optimizing correctly on your site so that you can get ranking higher. And that's what this challenge is all about. Take care.